So you got yourself an Apple Maker keyboard with an LCD screen, yet you don't know how to customize the LCD display. This is Biba Haranero, tech journalist, tech reviewer. So of course, the first step is to download the Apple Maker image custom tool down at Apple Maker's website. I'll put a link down in the description. So it only works for Windows and we're going to have to wait for the Mac version. Once you've unzipped that and installed that, it's going to look um, not like this basically. The background will be black, but first tool here. You can choose whether it be a pen or an eraser. You can select the tool size, one, two, three pixels. You can choose the pen color right here, and you can choose the background color right here. So let's say we want the red background color. This is for custom number one, because you can add in two custom displays aside from the default display for my keyboard so far, but it depends on your keyboard. I'm using the TH80 Pro version two, so my review will also be on YouTube and I'll put the link down in the description or somewhere around this video. But anyways, say I'm good with this one, I'm going to click on save frame. And once that's saved, I'm going to click on upload to have it appear on my keyboard. There you go. So it's solidified, already appearing. So say I want the next uh, mode to be a GIF and I'm going to draw right here another heart. I want to add in a new frame So basically a GIF is a combination of multiple pictures that makes it look like a choppy video Anyways, you can upload a picture here. You can upload an animation as well Just choose the frame where you want to upload those into so let's say I want to upload a picture here Overwrite all frames. Okay. How about I use this? Oh, I overwritten all frames. Shouldn't have done that. Anyways, I'm just going to click on add a new frame. And then I'm going to draw back our heart. And the interval time, I would go for 400 milliseconds, but it's up to you. But the sweet spot for me is 400 milliseconds. Now, I could add in another frame. Um, I haven't tested exactly how many frames you could add here. Let's say let's put a check here. Wow, that's a lot of frames. Wow. So I've added in 50 frames. But of course, we're going to delete some of the frames that we don't need. Say we don't need this frame, I'm just going to click on sub frame. So sub delete. I'm not sure why the translation isn't so accurate, but delete that. Oh, say I just want to start all over. I just delete all frames or I could clear all frames. It's up to you. So I'm going to delete all frames and start over. I'm going to add in back the picture. So now that's in. I'm going to save the frame on upload and I'm going to that appear in my LCD screen. There you go. So far, here's the basics of how it's done. Pretty much get the gist of it. But if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them when I can.